Testing, testing, one, two, three. Just speak. Then. Hello. You don't have to project that much. That's definitely no, that's too much. Too much. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. This is no, my normal, normal. Yeah. Normal. This is good, my normal yeah. speak. Uh, welcome to a brand new episode of MTG. Josh reacts to AI design cards, and I'm joined here with my guest today. Do you, do you want to say hello? Hi. That. So hello. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, so these cards are provided by one of my friends, Elliot. So thank you, Elliot, pr for providing once again these hilariously strange cards. So yeah, let's just go through them and see what we think, whether we like the cards or if we don't like the cards or otherwise. So the first card, Rock Speed, three in white for a sorcery. Create three five five red dragons with flying. That's a good start. If like this spell was kicked, creatures can't attack this turn. Okay. Rock Speed's owner can't Wait, be kicked. If it was kicked, yeah. There's no kicker cost, however. So physically kicked. You can't, yeah. <laughs> Rock Speed's owner can't be Kuntella. Yep. Whenever you create one or more tapped, so it's Gollum speaking now, put a plus one, plus one counter on it when you create one or more tapped. Right. Tapped what? You don't lose the game. Absolutely. Definitely put this in. Pretty good. In you don't lose effects. the game. Interestingly, it's a sorcery, yeah. so you can't play it reactively. So yeah. you just you never lose the game. Is it an emblem? No, no it's not an emblem. So you just don't lose the game it's this turn. An emblem. <laughs> <laughs> the artwork's kind of interesting. There's yeah. I don't really see any rocks per per se. Uh, the focus doesn't seem to be on rocks. It seems to be on weird dragon creatures. Maybe the rocks are so fast you don't see it. Why white, white spell makes red three red dragons i mean it's i mean just the first sentence alone makes it broken right so it's it's playable it's playable it's playable. playable card there's no downside the fact you can't kick it's fine we can't be coon teller how, how does one know i don't know what coon teller is but i think you play this Let me zoom in all right so this one rage's intervention is an instant red two and red Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. <laughs> if you if you don't, you lose the game. Okay, quite risky then. If someone is it risky? Yeah, because if you do this and are in response, I exile your graveyard. I've just killed you. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. Actually. Yeah, well, I just I I'm just didn't see any harm. I was like, yeah, why it's you... very harmful. You should read the flavor text. Well, it adds, it adds more. At the heart of the anger. And the hurt rages heart beats. Comma. New line. Uppercase. <laughs> as as each day passes, with its own rage, and his wrath increases. Now Cryptic. I'm sure I'm sure everyone that's watching this will know exactly yeah. what that means and which poem that's from. So in the comments. Yeah, please. I don't think it's from any poems, to be honest. Uh, so what do you think? Would you play this? Return oh. creature. I mean, I would definitely play this. I mean, the fact that Red doesn't have access to this ability... Yeah. Is, it's it, worth the risk, it, right? It breaks the pie. It is incredibly risky, and, though, if someone, uh, in response, exiles the creature from your graveyard. What's the, is that likely to happen? So you, you're saying you would play this? Oh, yeah. All right. So it's so, a so yes from him, and I it's a no from me. So. And the artwork, look, the, the artwork. The artwork gives me anxiety. I have no it, idea. It literally gives me anxiety. Oh, there's, there's a heart. A literal paste... I, a heart. I see the heart. Yeah, and, and eyes and an angry yeah. man. And there's some rage. All right. There. Move on to the next one. Mm. <laughs> Flicker its fur. Three and white. There's a actual photo of a rabbit there. Enchantment hair. Sorry. Hair for the for hair yeah, enthusiasts. Yeah. Return Flicker its fur to its owner's hand. Until end of turn, creatures you control are plus one, plus one indestructible. Okay. The beginning of your upkeep. Popular. This is a real... This feels like a real card. That's... That's just good. That's right? actually a legit good card. I don't like the artwork. Return it. Creatures get possible something interactable. That's a literally protects your field. Yeah. Triggers enchantment likingness. Mm. And populate. It's, this is a legit, really good card. Just that the artwork is... The artwork's laying it down. The, the artwork is laying it down. The hair yeah. is not even looking at us. No. So, but, so yeah. Uh, yeah, good. No. You'd use it? Uh, yeah. I would use this as well. Next yeah. up. Good pick. Okay, we have Reaver. Oh no, I'm, I'm already getting bad. Instant. I'm thinking of Obi-Wan Kenobi already. <laughs> <laughs> Creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample until the end of turn. <laughs> the spell was kicked, it deals 20 damage to the opponent. Two! Yeah. Two! Yeah. Absolutely broken as hell. 
I mean, it's a rare. It makes sense, right? It's a rare. I mean, it's got to be good. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't use this, you'd just be a lunatic. That's... It's so uh, broken as hell. Uh, Overrunning green does this for five mana, just the top part. Yeah. Okay. Right. And, and this is two black for the same thing at instant speed with kick a kill the gate, uh, kill the opponent. I will say the only downside is um, it doesn't hit creatures. That's no, but it probably kills your opponent. P probably. Yeah. It might not. Good card. Yeah. Too good. It's very yeah, very good. Too I good. Mean, as a sideboard. Sideboard. <laughs> Straight up main board. <laughs> Next up, we've got Unnivable Personal. Looks like Graham Norton in the artwork there. Uh, oh, yeah. Five blue for a vampire ranger, which doesn't have any power and toughness. Nor is it uh, a creature. Uh, oh, Zombies, okay. you can try a double strike. And so I can play Luna's <laughs> Control! <laughs> I love how it just gets more and more crazy the lower you get. <laughs> I love it. It's really deep. Yeah, that is. It's, I mean, it's kind of deep, right? To be able to make your opponent, to, sorry, a player. What do you make yourself yeah. lose control? I mean, that's the best part. I already feel like that's happened to me in real life, so it doesn't. I have no. It has no effect on me. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's... Zombies have first strike. Vampire ranger. Cool crossover types. That is, that is cool. It's tribal enchantment with because it's not a creature, so it's just a weird, very specific tribal enchantment. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Funny it's not, card. It's not, I mean, the, the artwork suggests it's a creature, right? Yeah. But it's there's... Like it's a statue. I, it could be. Oh, yeah, I, I couldn't use this. It's just... It doesn't do anything. I mean, do, oh, the double strike double is strike. good, though. Imagine you, having maybe. all the zombies and they all double strike. Maybe, then. Yeah. Double I, strike is good. Yeah, I think. If you have lots of zombies out... Okay, maybe. Depends. If, zombie think. tribal deck, yes, but then it's not even a zombie enchantment, so... It's... Yeah, it's... It, mm. So I wouldn't use it, but would you? Just to lose control, I definitely. Just to lose control, yeah. Like... So you're going to make a blue, white, black Esper zombies deck. Yep. Put it in. Yep. Who's next? Here Is you next? Oh, wow. Go oh, I read that. Goblin P. Brilliant. That's uh, green and one. It's a creature. Elf Shaman. It's a nice, yep. nice set. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may untap Goblin P. Interestingly enough, it's Goblin P, but it's from an Elf Shaman. Yeah. So the flavour is the elf shaman's walking along, Except stands in goblin P. P, and whenever you cast on creature so spell, the, untap so the itself. P means the creature. It itself is the P, but it's yeah. I don't know what's going so on when, here. When a creature steps in it, it it, it untaps. slips. It should tap it really. It's just whoa, yeah, whoa. That would make more sense. Untapping the P. There's some potential here though. I don't know. Being able to untap when a, when you cast a non creature spell. Um, oh, actually. Oh, well, you're, you're actually on something. There's like combo potential here. Yeah. yeah I'm think... tapping. Yeah. There, there are ways to break this, actually. Yeah. So it's gone from really unusable to potentially bro broken yeah. combo. Potentially. Yeah. It, it's a weird card. You need other things. You need other things. Flavor Pleat's odd. If, yes. Because is it the P or is it the Elf Shaman in the P? It's the, it is the P, though, right? But how could it have a creature type? It would be creature type P. Anyway. Uh, I, I, I'm long. not comfortable with this one. <laughs> okay. Carper, Venomance, Automaton, three and five, or a cat warrior. I can sort of see a cat there in there somewhere. It Six, five. There. It's right in that corner. If it will deal damage to a player, it deals double that damage to that player. Unless they pay one for each creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Let me just think about this for a sec. Hit someone, it deals double damage, unless. You that player pays one for each creature with the greatest power, but how can you have each with the greatest power among one. creatures that player controls? So if they have two two twos, they oh. pay one for each, and then it doesn't have double power. Yeah, it kind of it's interesting mechanically. It does work. It's one of these interesting nuances, right? So like if you, you think it seems a bit pointless. So basically, if your opponent doesn't have any creatures, this is not too bad because then you're yeah. dealing twelve damage. Or if they've got. A bunch of really strong tokens that are all the same. You could potentially make them tap out. Yeah. Or they have like, uh, they if they have like damage. 21 ones, yeah. then yeah. it's fine. Yeah. It's interesting. It's an interesting design space. Yeah. Not really seen before. Yeah. It feels like a lot of hoops. Also, I keep wanting to say Venonat, which is a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Um, What do you reckon? Would you use this in the, in the right shell? I don't think I would. It's too many hoops, it's, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... Would you rather just use a five mana... Seven, five, with no with I mean, no abilities. Probably. What, what it's got going for me is cat. I like cats. Cats, yeah. So it might be. Cat. Yeah, 
weird. Tribal double damage, maybe. Too many hoops. So a lot of hoops. Oh. Okay, it was just. Oh, I like how this one looks. So, Pain Cyclet, I believe. Silet. Silet. Oh, sorry, Silet. Mm. And it's got no conceivable cost, so I guess it's zero. Yes. It's an instant with flash. <laughs> really fast. Re really fast. Okay. As three target blue non gummon damage reduce one, and unless Detan or Cardona. It's still a land. Yeah. We're getting into like Latin territory here. As three target blue... Nope, I don't know what that means. As three target blue, non governments reduce. It's like a weird sequence of words that don't mean anything. Is this one of these like... Uh. The code you have to decipher. You oh, to like the a... Letters out of the words. Or is it like a Russian spy activation code? Yeah, it's... Oh, no be, idea. Yeah, you got to shuffle the words. No right idea. Way. Right, next one. Sanctuary oh, at death. As hell. Two black green for a cat berserker. Oh, I, thought was, I was thinking more like a rat there. At the beginning <laughs> of your upkeep, you may pay white if you do put a counter on it, and then pay five green white tap. Create a frog with every oh. ability known to man. Interesting. Pay one to put a counter on it. Has it not got any? Is there anything I haven't got? It feels like. Except for double strike, I suppose. Yeah, Double Strike, see. Skulk, uh, some of the other weird ones. Well, Bolster's not a keyword oh, uh, passive. No. Oh, okay. Bolster's an yeah. activated ability. Right. Okay. Um, but it, oh, sorry, the top ability is top sort one, of Bolster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. It feels like it should be a legend. Because it makes yeah. something so powerful, but for seven mana. It's quite a lot. Yeah, it's too expensive, isn't it? Yeah. It's close. If it was like maybe five mana to make a three three, all that maybe. Yeah. But even then, seven is too much to make a three three. Even with all those abilities. Even, yeah, yeah, it's it's just too much. Yeah. Okay. Shame. Look, I, I would, it looks great. Yeah. It, it's interesting concept. Oh. I right, can go. We have Rune Vasta Virtuo, which is red and four. It's a creature tree folk. That's a tree. Folk. So you've tree. got. You can either pay two. So okay, let's go through this. Right, you've got. <laughs> You've either got red, red, white, blue. Oh no, you're You've gonna do all the sequences two now. Red, white, blue. You've got red, red. Oh, so you got sorry. I'll start again. You're red, red, white, blue. You're red, red, black, blue. I didn't see that one. Two red, black, white, blue. Two red. I black, think what blue. we're trying to get is it. I think it's not worth it to scry one for all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's flexible though, right? Scry one for all that. It's very flexible. Also, it can't fit in many decks because of its identity. It's four colours. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. What about a 7-7? Seven, seven? Man, this this just sucks, right? And you're not tapping it. <laughs> yes, you can do it infinitely with infinite <laughs> mana. To scry one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, no, in limited, yes. Yeah. If you're drafting it, fine. No, yeah. not in your main deck, no. Right. Oh, my. What's coming out of his face? Throne Bond, a crop. How do you even say a card with a dash with a, it's two so. Throne Bond? Oh, yeah, I do. A crop. Yeah. So it looks like Gandalf's having a bad day. Target player's life total becomes tapped this way. Tap <laughs> Uncasty. Uncasty is very strange, isn't it? Like, can I cast a spell? In the high memory that doesn't who meant peaks of a jungle can be something to all it has places him. Hmm. I uh, know. No. Target last player. T t oh my god. I don't. Uncasty, mate. It is uncasty. It's uncasty. It, 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 it says it on the actual tin. Yeah. Uncasty. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. So we have fifth rent engineer. Two red and three. It's a legendary creature. Mm. Zombie nine. Okay. A magnificent artwork, I have to say. It's pretty Do cool. Like That's flying haste. Good start. Whenever fifth rent engineer deals combat damage to a player, that player loses X life. You gain X life with X number of land you control. I think that's wow. pretty, that's pretty good. That's so. That's pretty good. That is really good. Mm. Uh, although it should be black because that's a drain ability. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool design. It's. it's. I like it's red because it. Lose X and you gain. Image case. wise, I think it fits quite nice. Image is cool. Yeah. It's. It's surprising that's that's that, so stable diffusion created that it's like some AI yeah. something I think. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I, I it's think... it's randomly generated by AI. 
Okay. Uh, that, with prompts. Yeah, good job. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good card. It's, I mean, uh, if it was costed correctly with black mana cost, probably could be a real card. Yeah. Well, it's the number of lands you control. That is a bit powerful, though. It's if it was, maybe it was like a 1 1, then it did this, because you, you're going to do at least 5 when it hits. Yeah, plus, yeah, so you, uh, you do follow that. Make it a bit smaller, and then yeah. the, the payoff is better. Mm. But who knows? I mean, mythics these days, eh? Indeed, yeah. Great card, though. Great yeah, card. I'd use it. You'd use it. I'd use it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Socks Griff. Two green blue for a legendary human advisor. Okay, so how I don't know how this is a human. Mountain cycling. That's weird. So you're paying four in Demir to get a mountain to your hand. Worms get plus two plus seven. Okay, this is getting weirder. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a court encounter on Socks Griff. This is getting suspicious. Creatures you control get plus one plus one for each oh. court encounter. Okay, okay. Regenerate opponent. Okay, <laughs> then the, la the last sentence just like froze away. Any... You did so well. It was, yeah. Worms, so it, it wants to have worms. Yeah. <laughs> Courting for each court encounter. I mean, there's it's something here. Worms. I think, I think it designs yeah. because you can sort of put it in a few different decks. It, it gets bigger over time. Uh, on like, each upkeep. Because... Hang on, so mountain cycling means you get a you get a look for a You discard mountain. the card by paying the cost and you get a mountain from your it's hand. That it doesn't have any red on it though. True, and also the fact that you can't if this is your commander, it's you can't do the mountain cycling. Because yes. you have to discard from hand. So then it has to go to the deck that's red, green, blue, black. Uh yeah. Fit. It's in, it's really interesting though. There's definitely like hints of something cool here. Yeah. If it made worms or something. That one, it does the the sacred thing. Magic doesn't like when you li talk to. Sorry, listen to Magic R and D. Mm. They don't like to have buffs in the form of counters and in the form of passives because it's um, a bit too confusing. Because yeah. it uses counters and yeah. and buffs, which is a bit odd. Yeah, you don't no, normally see both on one card because yeah. it just kind of complicates things. Mm -hmm. exactly. I think it has some potential. It's just. It's just not there. The art's pretty good. I quite yeah. like the artwork. Yeah, it's actually. cool. It's confusing as hell. It's like a dog, werewolf, it's cool. man. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely Sweet. not human. It's a bit far from being usable, though, I think. Okay, we have Sableye Sliver. Two in black. An instant. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Pretty good for three, I think. Uh, okay, that's not uh, too bad. The next spells and abilities you control <laughs> is a cat <laughs> in the chosen player's hands. Wow. Next spells and abilities... It's like a magic trick. You're <laughs> putting a cat in the hand. Yeah. The, the art is correct. The art is perfect. That is spot on. The next spells you control. I'm struggling to. It's a cat in the hand. I'm, I'm struggling to understand the repercussions of this card. Are we talking about a real cat or or a, or a cat card? Yeah, it's a cat conjured. It's quite. A it's a bit mysterious. Is it a cat token like thing, or is it an actual cat in the game? Yeah, I don't know. A real cat would be the most devastating. I can imagine if this has a spell book of cats. Oh, he's talking spell book. You can tell he's been playing magic for a while. Spell book. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I don't know. The top ability is good. The bottom, abilities... the bottom ability is a bit weird because it feels like no matter what you cast, it's going to turn into a cat in your opponent's hand, which I don't really want because I then I have to sacrifice a good spell to give, give them a cat. Yeah. It's risky. This is like an end game move, move right? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, if this is your last spell, yeah, it's actually done, it's yeah. actually decent. It's fine. Yeah. I think it's fine for what it does. Yeah. Black's yeah. a bit weird. Yeah, it's this is normally weird. white and green. Yeah. But, but it's fine. It yeah. yeah. It's fine. Togo Soldier. <laughs> Three in blue. Volva Dragon. Okay, this sounds like something from Duel Masters. Like um, flying. Death Touch in blue. Okay, okay. a bit weird. Okay. On your upkeep, lose two life. Okay, so okay, maybe that could be the Death Touch part. Why you got that? When it, when Togo Soldier dies, return it to the battlefield. Wow, so it's got indestructible sort of. Yeah. It can't block. Okay, fair enough. If it was kicked, it enters the battlefield three counters on it. <laughs> Interesting. It's got so many goddamn words on it. There's a lot. It's There's a lot back here. the the loss of life kind of explains away the death touch because it's yeah, kind of like okay. it's sort of black yeah. without being black. So that's an interesting yeah. way of bleeding color pie without explicitly making it black. I yeah. like that element of design, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering what else you can do with cards like that. Yeah. The fact that um, it just comes back to the battlefield straight away. Um, yeah, when it dies, return it instantly. That's tough to deal with. 
blind death touch i mean the practical death touch is bad because it blocks everything and it makes the game stagnant it can't block Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't. So block. there's that. That's that. So oh, sorry, can't block. It's only when it dies in back when it's attacking. So that I guess that's the trade, right? Okay, fine. It keeps some back, but only yeah. when you use it. In that case, I I quite like this card. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's kind of interesting. It doesn't mean that your opponent can't really kill it like with conventional means either. It does say die though, so you can exile it. You can exile it, yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's sort, of, it's sort of like a god, sort yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it's fine. It's it's actually fairly well balanced yeah. overall. I think it has what looks like a gun in its right hand there, so it wouldn't pass the art tests exactly. from Wizards. You've sort of got like a clip there, and it looks like a... Uh, it I looks kind it, of like a rifle-y sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. But it. yeah, interesting card. Yeah. Right, here we have well, Touch Kill Pin of Cartis. Three, white, blue, black. Ooh. Uh, it looks kind of like, I want to say a beholder or half a yeah, door. Yeah, very cool. Of, um, this is very cool artwork. Yeah, like... That is, I'm style. impressed by that artwork. It's a legendary door. I like oh, it. We've seen doors before. It's no, extort. I like that. Yeah. This, oh, so extort is red. Is is white, black. Right? White, black. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can tap it to create a five-five blue bird creature with flying. I kind of like this. Wow. I don't really know why. It the extort is good. Yeah. If you're playing a control deck, tapping to make a five-five return seems okay because it's only a two-two and you can't do it immediately. True. I actually yeah. think this is weirdly balanced. Yeah, it's, I like that. Joking, one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it'd be good for a token. Yeah. It looks, it's very unique, interesting, and I'm impressed by whoever generated this in whatever thing. Yeah, because white, white, black, extort works. The blue, yeah, is a bird. The blue is a bird. The door, yeah. you know, it could be a door to a bird. Something. I'd actually make. I'd make a, a command deck. Yeah, it's kind of abstract. It, yeah, it's good. I, I like the game. Needs weird stuff like this. Not just stuff that's just good. Stuff with that yeah. makes you work a bit. Yeah. No. I, I like that. So this was done by Mid... Well, the art was done by Mid, mid Journey. Oh, okay, right. uh, the Tom rest is... is done by... I'm not sure. Yeah. I'd have to ask Elliot, but there's some kind of auto-generator. There's yeah. a lot of them. There's a I few really of them. I really like the artwork. I think that's really yeah, cool. artwork's cool. Very cool. Ashling's Mycrest. Three uh -huh. and... <laughs> is that a fish? Death Touch Fish. Wait, fi <laughs> wait. Okay, hang on a sec. It's fish a new it's term a we camel. don't know about. Death Touch Fish. It has the fish ability. Yeah. When it enters battle, put a vision count on a non-permanent. Okay. Like it, it, That's strange. It's strange. It, it's not out there. Well, the fish. I, I want the, the fish, fish is out there. The fish is out there. What do you think that could be? Do you reckon it means you could search a fish disc, like a graveyard? Scry. I don't know. Go fish. Yeah. Fish. Get something. Maybe I reckon fish. you'd have to guess. Like the card on top of your deck, <laughs> or like a number of cards, and if it's right, you get it. You, you get it, yeah. You lose yeah, it. some kind of guessing element, maybe, yeah. yeah. Like Put that. a Vigilance count on another permanent in red, and it's got Death Touch, which is black. Very odd. I don't think it's playable, though. Off flavor. Four mana for this. You're not happy. I'm you not happy to cast on this. I think we need to know what fish is. Yep. I think that could change it. And for me. sadly, there's no way of knowing. You're right. That is a shame. Here we have Ooh. Traitorous Mage, Ooh. which is one and green or white. Creature is all dog. Now, does that mean all is a creature All type? dogs go to heaven. So that's fine. Okay. That will go to heaven. Right. It was a mage. It's a all mage. dogs. Well, it's not a mage. It's a dog. It's all dogs. Oh, yeah. Not Defender. A mage. Defender first, first try. try. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I like that there's a bit of lore in this, right? So I'm thinking he was a traitorous mage, so he betrayed another mage. And he was like, no, I'm not having this. He turned him, so he turned him into a dog. dog. All, all the dogs. dogs. <laughs> and now he just waits. Uh, so he, he, he just waits for people to attack him and then he, like jabs at them. And all dogs, always yeah. Hits first. Always his first. I think this is a he's great, angry. This is a great canvas card where you could build on it. He's angry because he just, he, he didn't think he got a fair deal. Did he? He really didn't. No. He, uh, yeah, he's, at least he anime. kept his hat. Oh, was it? I can't remember. Simpsons, yeah? That's the one, yeah. That's, that's yeah. exactly right. Next card. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Nightmares. <laughs> that's not what it says. <laughs> this is this is you, I think. No, this is your one. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's your one. Invenpodita. Mm. And two and blue red mm -hmm. for a human knight. Yeah, he looks like a knight. Mm -hmm. Cast a spell only during your next turn. Whoa. Okay, so... Yeah. What is our merfolk per carried small pride? He fear and abuse. There was their bird shall over necessary. That I almost been crying. Thank you. Yeah, same. When is your next turn? I mean, it's like, you know, tomorrow never dies or comes. So 
or any other words. Yeah. Um, so I don't think this is playable mm. in any sense of the word. Yeah. Playable. No. You can't play it. You literally cannot play this card. Quite a disturbing image. And though. even if you could play the card, I'd burn it with fire. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We have <clears throat> Ennating Mask. Green. Mm. A so it's not equipment. Worm. It's devoid. It has no colour. It's, it's been a while since you one of these cards. Yeah. No colour. Uh, it's for zero. Ennating Mask gets minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. Now, any player may now, have to make this ability. There's a slight problem with this ability. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a... In that it's awful. Yeah. And we've seen cards like this. I have seen cards like this before in g generated by AI and it's terrible. It's just um, It just makes the card instantly unplayable. Instantly. Even if it, even if this was only my ability, got a challenge. I think if you guys can find a way to make this card playable, we, you should let us go know. for it. And, and, and JJ will make that deck. No, I won't. <laughs> I, I won't. I won't do that. I'm not. The first, thing, I can't. But I also wouldn't. I'm not. No, naughty. <laughs> Look, people want to see that. A one mana three three in green is not that far off if it was mythic. Yeah. But that ability. Is a downside, but it's so much of a downside that it's not playable. Yeah, it's unfortunate that any player can use it. It and is. It's not sources for only. I think that's the if, other problem, isn't it? The only way to balance this would be if it, only any other player, so and only opponents can activate it, but only once during their turn and only during their turn. Yes. And it's a minus one counter. Yeah. Because that means over three turns, your opponent will whittle it down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you play a three-three, then in their turn they can make it two-two. Then yeah. One, yeah. And proliferating all that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think that would be the only way to balance it. They, a bit they unfortunate. Own. Yeah. Same. Same. The pixelation on this. <laughs> Dobnar Goblin Growth. One white for an instant. Search your library for a creature card with the same name as target creature. Put it on the battlefield. Okay. Well, that's broken. That is mad. That is actually broken. Yeah. So in sixty cards, when you can have multiples of cards, it's so yeah. broken. It's a, and you draw cards. You draw cards. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I would pay one white to draw a card. Yeah. At instant speed. Bear in mind, it doesn't care whose creature it is. No, if your yeah. opponent has a land or elves, yeah. you could copy their elves and get an land or and draw a card. Yeah. yeah. Utterly busted or card. Or if you run their commander, you could just pop yours out. Yeah, if, as long as it's in your deck or, yeah. you know. Yeah. Utterly, insanely good card. Uh, clearly, would use. Yes, yeah, definitely. Even with the big eared dwarf yeah, elves yeah. things. I I I'd go for the alternate artwork. Yeah, which unless this is the looks like, yeah, it is, yeah. Here we have Viroshan, Lord Duelist. Oh, Duelist. Uh, three green, legendary creature, human artificer. So I I'd, I'd, I'd expect artifacts to be involved in this. Let's have a look. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, proliferate, then populate. Creature spells you cost you cast cost oh, two less. Oh wow. Than now there's no artifacts in it, which I'm a bit. I I don't think. Artifice is is artifice linked is to not? artifacts. Are they not? I thought artifices were. Have a look. Clever or cunning devices or expedients. Ah, okay, fair enough. In that case, that's a very. very... I I can see this being real cards. Yes. It's a bit over overpowered. It's very open. Cast it a spell, proliferate green. them, proliferate. Oh, proliferate. Although saying that, it's, it's really, triple green. Yeah, it's triple green, which which does make it more difficult to use in in non mono green decks. So I think this is actually a, a really epic card. Yeah. Proliferate then populate means you've got so many choices, you know, it, mm. and there's some decks where this works really well. They've just recently made, um, what are they, the incubation token, which is an artifact token that then flips with counters on it. Yeah. This works for both of those abilities, yeah. counters, and they're making more of them, and then making you just cost two less to cast. Really, yeah. really powerful, barely okay. balanced, because yeah. it doesn't do anything by itself. No, correct. Yeah. Um, damn, this is, this is cool. This, I'm, I'm sad this isn't real in a way. That would be a really cool general. That is, that is very Lord cool. Duelist. Or the dueling part is where there's no sword and the, yeah. his abilities are about not about fighting. They're more, only, more about cultivation. So what would, you, what would you rename him if you're not Duelist? Uh, Shepherd? Virashan. Yeah. Shepherd of Shepherd of the crop. Shepherd of I don't know. Not Duelist. Not Duelist. Good card though. Good, Good card. card. Is it? And that is it. Oh, that is all the cards. I had some interesting ones today. There were some interesting ones. What do you think your favourite one was? Um, I mean, this is this was close. This was close. But I think that red. Oh no, there are more. Oh, are there? He just didn't go. It just did. Just oh. didn't press right. We'll carry on. Right, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone I know. It's me. <laughs> yes, you do. Umbral despair. One red, enchant creature. 
enchanted creature has beard equal to the number of attacking creatures and planeswalkers you control. Excellent. I mean, in terms of beards, I'm not sure they have any impact on the game. We need to know what a beard is. Well, we know what a beard is. No. But in the game, yeah, we know what a beard yeah. is. Yeah. Because if that means, like, Annihilator 1... I don't think that's what it will mean. We don't know that. But yeah. Yeah, there is, this is one of those ones that's impossible to, to, to grade. Yeah. Indeed. Right, here we go. Oh, it sounds like you when you've had some, uh, <laughs> had some curry. <laughs> Endless Wind. Don't read anything into that. Cool artwork, though. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your... Uh, sorry, at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice a land. Not great, but you can play additional land on each of your turns. Okay, so there's a trade. <laughs> I mean, it's just a looping mechanic, yeah. right? I mean, I'm sure... You, this, is, to, yeah. this is abusable. I mean, there's no casting cost for a start. <laughs> there's my Endless Wind going. There's no casting... Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, so, so that's... Yeah. I there's probably some combo potential with this, you know, ways to just loop lands at the graveyard. There will be. I mean there's so Sun Titan, I suppose, if you can use that. Yeah, I mean yeah, I just this is just too risky. Yeah. <laughs> repair all of the dragons sorry, repair of the dragons, one green, instant, destroy all of them. So you're not really repairing much. No. This one And transmute discard this card. To draw a card. Well, I'm not, not sure what the cost is. The cost is one green, then it's in oh. brackets one black. So there's one black or one. Oh man, that's just really weird. So it's actually. I wouldn't transmute it anyway. No. Destroy all of the dragons, though. I presume they're talking about dragons. Yes, because they're that... they're mentioning dragons in the in the name. The flavour, though. The most party of the order was dreamed as a single, gone and unknown graves. Wow. Sounds great. Emotional. The most party of the order. Okay. Weird. I mean, if you're sideboarding this against dragons, good on you. Yes. But otherwise, it ain't doing nothing. Oh, Brilliant. That was cool. Straight yeah. out of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Wow. Strand Lace Invasions. That's interesting. Uh, one red and black or red. It's a sorcery. Strand Lace Invasions enters the battlefield tapped. Okay. When Strand Lace Invasion enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with a percent counter on it. <laughs> Equip creature has trample. Okay. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may bivot the game with Strand Lace Invasion's power. When Strand Lace Invasions is put into a graveyard from anywhere. Each player wails a creature they control and loses the game. I lost you at the first sentence. Whenever it put, it dies, each player wails a creature and loses the game. So if this dies, if this dies, oh no, it's, it's mill. Wait, wait, wait! It's a sorcery. As soon as it uses, you die. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So if basically, resolves... play it and you both lose the game. No, not even if it resolves. Oh, Even if it, oh, it, that's like a passive. Yes, once it's been once yeah. it goes. So yeah. this card is super risky. Uh, I don't know why you'd ever use it. It's you'd, absolutely terrible. You'd use it in conjunction with cards that so you can't lose, right? Would you? What's a percent count going to do? I mean, that bit I sort of glossed over. Yeah, I, I, I think it's just, just incomprehensible. Yeah, it's as as inco incomprehensible as the art. As the art. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah. Just check to make sure this before we say is that the is that it? Yeah. I think that is it. So it looks like this is genuinely this the last is card now. The last one. Uh yeah, so definitely some interesting ones there. I think my favourite is probably that red demon that you think should be black. I I quite like that one. I think it's there. Yeah, the fifth or intention. I like here. that one, yeah. This was pretty good. It's it's close to being usable. Arguably wrong colours, but um I thought it, if it was a dragon. Maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. Definitely, something. Some of those words oh, that you said. Like um, I think my favourite card was. Oh, maybe, maybe thrown bonder crop, because it's just so weird. I like, I like weird, like the hands and the art. That it's is, Gandalf yeah. who's obviously gone to some kind of singularity. Yeah. Yeah. So you chose a card based on being good. I chose a card because it's weird. Yeah. Right. And there we go. Tell you everything you need to know about us. Thank you, Elliot, for choosing the cards and sending them my way. If anyone else has any other cool a source where you can find these cards somewhere a bit different maybe not just robo rosewater on twitter or whatever tell me in the comments below and tell me uh what your favorite card was 
and also tell me in the comments as well what yeah what your favorite card was i've already said that no i wasn't really listening no i i don't either um yeah so until next time from me and from me from yeah, that see you later bye did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos go ahead you know you want to